The government of Syria, through President Assad and Foreign Minister Shara, has informed me today that Syria has, as a first step, redeployed all its troops in Lebanon to the Bikar Valley, consistent with the understandings reached in Aleppo on the 12th of March 2005. In addition, I've been informed that Syria has already withdrawn 4,000 troops into Syria. Furthermore, I've been informed that Syrian security offices in Beirut have been closed. Foreign Minister Shara has also informed me that all Syrian troops, military assets, and the intelligence apparatus will have been withdrawn fully and completely latest by 30th of April 2005. This commitment implies that all Syrian security forces and equipment would have been withdrawn from Lebanon in the spirit of the Taif Agreement and in full consistence with Security Council Resolution 1559. In this context, the government of Syria has agreed with me that subject to the acceptance by the Lebanese authorities, a UN verification team will be dispatched in order to verify the full uh, Syrian military and intelligence withdrawal. I want to add two observations here. The first is that I agree with what I said to Mr. Larson in his statement. والملاحظة الثانية هو أن سوريا في انسحابها الكامل من لبنان تعني أنها قد طبقت الجزء المتعلق منها من القرار 1559 أن هذه العلاقة تاريخية ذات أبعاد مختلفة ثقافية اقتصادية اجتماعية أمنية وهذه العلاقات المبنية على مشاعر وطنية وقومية لا يمكن أن تلغى لا بانسحاب القوات السورية ولا بتحريض على فصل العلاقات السورية اللبنانية والبيان الذي تلاه السيد لارسن أكد على أن أمن لبنان جزء من أمن سوريا والعلاقات بين البلدين مترابطة